so in this example, ladies and gentlemen, basically the main important thing you guys will need to make sure you guys have, even if you did not have a graphing calculator previously, having access to a um, scientific calculator, at least something that you can do um, our trig functions with, will be most important. Because exactly in this, this is something that you're going to need to have at least a scientific calculator to be able to evaluate. Where the, where the Pythagorean theorem, we could just use, as long as we had our three, two side lengths, we could find the third side length. But here, we're only given one side length and an angle. So the first thing we want to do, though, is identify which trigonometric function we can apply, sine, cosine, or tangent. So to do that, the first thing I want to do is identify the hypotenuse, which hopefully you guys can see is the hypotenuse is always directly across from the right angle, always. Okay. Um, then we want to identify, well, which length is this? It's either the opposite or it's the adjacent. The way that I always tell if it's the opposite or the adjacent is I look at where my angle is. The side length that connects my angle and my 90 degree is my adjacent side. Okay? So now we need to look back at our table and see, all right, which trigonometric function then only deals with the adjacent side and the opposite side? Cosine. cosine. So I can say cosine of my angle theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Now we just plug in the information that we know. Theta is 70 degrees. is equal to my adjacent side, which is x, and my hypotenuse side, which is 10. So now, you have to borrow your calculator. When you're doing this, you're going to want to make sure that your mode of your calculator is in degree mode, not in radian mode, which we'll be talking about today. So you want to make sure your degree is in um, degree mode. And then all you're simply going to do is type in, oh, actually, let's uh, solve for x. To get x by itself, we'd have to multiply by 10 on both sides. So therefore, x equals 10 times the cosine of 70 degrees. Everybody agree with me? So therefore, I can just do the cosine of 70 degrees and then times 10, which is 3.420. And it's going to be approximate, so we're going to round it. So I'm going to write in approximately 3.4, what was it, 20? OK, I just want you to round it to the hundredth, so we'll just do 3.42. OK? And that's it. That's all you guys have to do. OK, I'll change yours. Adjacent is the side that connects your angle with your 90 degree. See how that's my angle? That's my 90 degrees. The side between them. You always be given an angle, yes.